Welcome back to another video guys. In today's video we're going to start our Revit series. We're going to kick this off with how to place a door in any wall in Revit. So let's start with a new project. I go to new and for the purpose of this project I'm not going to select a template. So I'm going to hit none and hit OK. My preference will be the metric system. Now in the project space I'm going to have to place a wall. One thing to note is that all standard doors in Revit need a wall host to be placed within your project. So for this one I'm going to select wall, wall architectural and then I'm going to place one of the default basic walls. Let's make that 3 meters long and escape out of there. To place a door in Revit, you select the door button under the architecture tab. So I select that. If you recall earlier, I purposely chose a blank project template. So now you will need to load the door, which comes standard as part of the Revit library. So I'm going to select yes. And then I'm going to navigate to the doors folder under my UK library template. Your library template might be different, but for me, I'm using the UK template. You might have one from the US or other countries. So I navigate to doors and I'm going to use a internal door for this project. And as you are cycling through your doors, one thing to note is that you do have a preview of what that door would look like in your project. That preview is on the right hand side here. For this project, I'm going to use the internal single one door and open that up. Now that door is made available to us in our project now and we can select it and choose an appropriate size. Let's choose the 1010 millimeter by 2110 millimeter door and place that into our wall. Graphically, you can see that this door appears very minimally if you go to the toolbar at the bottom, you can cycle through the different detail levels. At the minute, we are on coarse detail level. Let's see what happens when we change that to the medium detail level. So now you have the medium detail level. The door framing is showing and the door leaf itself is showing at the appropriate thickness. Let's change the detail level once more to fine. So now we have the framing in much greater detail. We have the door stops in place on both sides. And we also have the architraves going around. So let's see what happens when we try to do the same thing on a Revit curtain wall. So we navigate to wall again, wall architectural. And in the properties drop down, we can select curtain wall one and we can place that. Let's again make that three meters wide to match the other one. And then we can escape out of that. Now let's see if we can place the door we loaded in earlier into our curtain wall. So let's go to architecture, door, and we already have our 1010 door selected. So let's see if we can place that now. We note here that Revit is preventing you from placing our door into the curtain wall. Revit sees the basic walls differently to the curtain walls. You will need to use a slightly different Revit family to place a door into the curtain wall. So let's load the family in so we can escape out of that. We can go to the insert tab. We can load family. For doors located within a curtain wall system, you need to navigate to the curtain wall panels folder of your library. So if we go up and up again, we have the curtain wall panels folder. So let's go in there and see what we have. Once in the curtain wall panels, you do have a selection of panels as well as doors. So we have some double doors there. We can scroll down and we have some single doors. 
Let's go for the single glass one door and open that up. So that's now loaded into our project. Once those curtain wall doors are loaded into your project, you can select any panel within a Revit curtain wall system and change that panel to a door. If you want to select a panel, you can hover over it and tab to cycle through your selection until you get to the panel. Once selected, you could then use the properties drop down and change that panel to the door that we just loaded. Now one thing to note is that the door automatically takes up the full extent of the spacing defined by the curtain grid. So what we'll need to do is create a specific curtain grid which more appropriately sizes this door. So let's undo this door and go to our default 3D view. Undo button. And then we can go to our default 3D view. We can see our curtain wall in place and we can see that it doesn't have a grid arrangement assigned to it. Under the architecture tab, we can select curtain grid and we can create one. So let's put a vertical grid line there and another one there. We can also put a horizontal grid line to define the height in location here and escape out of that. Once any of these grid lines are selected, the temporary dimensions show up and we can enter more appropriate sizing for our door. So let's select this vertical grid line here and we can see these temporary dimensions are given. Let's change this center panel size to one meter width. And let's change the height to 2.2 meters. So now if we select our panel, we have a panel size of one meter by 2.2 meters. And this panel can now be changed to a door. In the properties drop down, we can then navigate and select our door family that we loaded earlier. Navigating back to our plan view, we can now see that the door is in place and is appropriately sized. And that's how you place doors within a wall in Revit. For our bonus Revit hack, we can also place standard basic doors into our curtain wall. So if we go to wall, wall architectural, we can place another curtain wall to the side here. Let's call that three meters again. And then we go to our standard doors, our 1010 door. And we note that we cannot place this into our curtain wall. Let's go to our 3D view and modify this slightly. And let's add some colors. And there we have our curtain wall. Let's create a grid as we did earlier. So I'm going to randomize this grid. And then we can select any of these panels and we can turn any panel into a basic wall. And now that wall can host our door. And that's how we can place a basic Revit door into a curtain wall system. And that's your Revit hack of the day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.